Okay, so near Tamata, long story short. Um, I ordered this off of Amazon. Uh, this will most likely be posted in my Amazon review as an update. Uh, so this is that. Um, or you're watching on YouTube, either way. Um, you know, welcome. Uh, I'm going to be talking about this book's aesthetics, the condition that it came in, and I'm going to be talking about the actual context of the book itself and what I want to recommend to you guys about it. So, uh, right off the gate, I'm just going to say that what this book is in its entirety is just the summary of the events of the game. Uh, the first Amazon reviews I read of the uh, particular book were just complaining about they, like, they gained nothing new from it or there wasn't anything that they... Uh, expected from it. I knew that it was just going to be a summary of the game because I read the article online, but all you're getting essentially is just a summary of the game's events in book form. And that's exactly what Long Story Short is. So um, if you guys want to make your purchase off that decision, um, feel free to leave the video and just, you know, make your decision alone whether you want to buy it or not. Because That's just something I've seen people get confused. I just thought I'd address it right at the gate. So anyways, let's actually begin. So the condition right out the gate um, is really nice. I cannot complain about how this came in at all. There was no damage to anything. And I mean, granted it's a new book, so you know, but it'd be bad if the condition was bad right out the gate, you know, being newly made. But uh, must say, really like the condition of it. Uh, front cover is cool. I love the front cover so much. And then I even love the side uh, design even more, just the uh, near automata uh, with the Emil face on it. That's, that's really cool. Uh, looks great next to my uh, philosophy books and whatnot. And here's the back, just a little uh, a design about uh, the pods, a conversation about advertising the book, which is pretty cool. Um, pretty quirky, you know. But um, yeah, front cover, cannot complain at all. And how the inside is formatted is even more interesting. So if you guys open it up, okay, so what's inside the actual uh, book itself is the uh, sketches of the events depicted in game for every single chapter and it's really cool to see because look they even have the signature of like the uh, people who drew it and it's got the uh, chapter number there about um, to be story and the events of the game which is really cool it's actually formatted quite interestingly it's not like um, an, any of the other books that I've read where it's been formatted the events seem to follow in sequence within each other as they are separate from each other which is really confusing, but it kind of falls into the line of like uh, the different perspectives of the characters. And that's how the book is told overall, is from a character perspective. Much like how uh, endings A and B were, where one was from 2B and one was from 9S. So that's really cool. Um, it is a little confusing at first. Uh, it's not the most uh, logical way to write a book at all. But then again, this is a very... Uh, you know, different game, and you have to expect that for some time. Hope this isn't a spoiler. But yeah, no, the text is nice. There's only a couple typos that I can recall. Uh, one was just particularly uh, that I can recall was uh, 9S uh, accidentally re replaced with 9B, which happens a couple times in the text, which is fine. I, I, it's easy to figure out. But um, that's if you if, if you're particular about that thing, then uh, uh, just here's a warning, just so you know. So okay, but um. No, honestly, I thought that this is all done really well. I mean, look at that drawing. That's pretty awesome. Um, I thought that there was not too much to complain about as far as having the text is concerned. Um, there are some awkward moments because, you know, not everything translates well into book form when you, you know, play a video game. And that's understandable in some cases. Some of the formatting is a bit weird. Like, I think here, right here, is the uh, um, interaction with Adam and Eve. Yeah, th yeah, this is, uh, it's in different font than the, uh, actual stories, if you can see that, and it just helps separate the scenes a little bit. It's very subtle and very odd for a book, but I really do appreciate how they did this. Um, it kind of adds a lot to, uh, the perspectives of the story, which is pretty sweet. But, yeah, no, that's the, inside the contents of the book, and if I was to recommend the book to anyone, I would say you probably would want to finish the game first. Uh, rather than read the book, like if you were, if I was to recommend this to someone who uh, uh, simply reads and wants some of the story of Nier Tamasa, I would, I would actually probably hand this to them, but there would be a lot I'd have to explain maybe, like the previous games about, uh, you know, uh, Nier Gestalt and all that. Um, it's just not really mentioned here, which is fine, and you don't really need to, but it is a lot of information packed into uh, particular pages with some side quests removed. 
from the game and some events just for the sake of continuity. Which I didn't take too much offense by. I mean, after all, you're trying to condense it into its most logical form. It just makes sense to, my, to me, in my opinion. And that could bother some people. You know, people may want everything to, like, be translated perfectly. Like, some kind of, I don't know, near Thomas of Bible. But, you know, to each their own. And I don't think this book is for everyone who really wants a complete version of the game. Like, I wouldn't recommend this as, like, you know, uh, basically a copy-paste of the entire game. But just an overall summary of the actual story itself. And so that's what I would go in expecting if you were to get this. Know that and don't try to expect to get any uh, other information from it. But honestly, I like that they did it. I like that it's all condensed. I thought it was just actually going to be endings A and B to be honest with you. But it's endings A through E. And they actually told it pretty well. I'm surprised. There are also, I mean, there were some dialogue changes here and there within the story of the book. But I can't really complain about any of it, to be honest with you. I wasn't offended. I wasn't, as a near talent a fan, I was not, you know, triggered necessarily. But, um, yeah. I was really happy with this product. I'm going to be quite honest with you. Besides a couple of missteps and maybe some weird ideas and how the story is told, I can't really think of anything that would be particularly offensive when looking at uh, this adaptation. Now, I know Junishima has written some other... Uh, adaptations before some were good some were meh as far as i'm concerned i'm not sure i'm not too uh familiar with his works or his adaptations but i thought he did a good job with this one i'm not gonna lie um it's nice to have because you can retell the story of the uh the events in the game without having to actually you know play the game which is pretty i mean that, that's obvious it would be a little difficult for me to hand this to somebody and say, did you understand the story of Nier Automata? It is confusing to some degree. Because um, the events are uh, worded so weirdly. Especially uh, Devil and Papala's story, which came out of nowhere when they recapped it. Which is interesting because that story is more part of the original Nier than it is uh, Nier Automata. But I'm glad they included it in there. It gives a little more context to the events. Just know that this is going to be a summary of Nier Automata. That's that's what it is. Long story short, it's <laughs> it says it right on the title. That's just know that, and that's what the main thing I wanted you guys to take away from it is that this is just a summary of the events that happened in Nier Automata. No extra lore, no extra story side bits or anything like that. Even some of the story parts are cut out uh, or rushed a little bit, but I thought the pacing was good. I thought they kept the interesting parts at the forefront of the book. I I really cannot complain on how they did everything uh, in the book. So. Um, yeah, that, that's my review, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.